Hello and welcome back. So, in this video, we will look at the central limit theorem. There is only one slide and it is provided by uh, Dr. Christopher Bishop based on his PRML textbook. Um, so, the, what does the central theorem limit theorem state? Um, now that we have looked at, uh, we are familiar with Gaussian distribution and the Bernoulli, uh, Bernoulli distribution. What it says is that the distribution of the sum of n um, independent and identically distributed random numbers, random variables becomes increasingly Gaussian. Okay. So, as n becomes very large. Okay. So, if you look at these uh, plots, so the first plot corresponds to n equal to 1. Remember that we are considering the sum of n independent identically uh, distributed random variables. So, in this case n equal to 1, the first there is no summation here. So, we are just drawn from a, a drum numbers from a, a random distribution um, from a uniform random distribution between 0 and 1. Okay. Now, if we consider sum of two numbers, each of which is drawn from is drawn from a uniform random distribution, and we plot the histogram of those draws, then we see that again it's approaching a Gaussian. As we go to n equal to 10, it looks more and more like a Gaussian. Okay. So again, to reiterate, we are only considering sum of n numbers. Okay. The summation of n, I will say numbers, but summation of n random variables, which are drawn from the same distribution. So that is the condition. Yeah, independently drawn from the same distribution, independent and identically uh, distributed. Okay, so why is this important? Because if you know, if you if you look uh, in many of our problems, uh, if you look machine learning uh, problems where we use um, probabilistic models, typically people end up using the um, Gaussian distribution as the model. Okay, so uh, then how do we justify that? So typically, the justification comes from here, where if you look, if you if you if you consider your data point. For instance, let us say you have a bunch of data points and you say okay, we decide that they are Gaussian distributed. So, then what is the justification? So, one justification you give depending on the problem is that each of these data points can be considered as a sum of n, uh, n numbers drawn from a similar distribution and that is a very large number. Then we can say that oh, then uh, each of them we can say that is now then is drawn from a Gaussian distribution. So, that is the idea behind uh, using the central limit. So, one, uh, one example is you are all familiar with uh, you know uh, cell phone cameras where you take pictures right. Okay. So, but then what does that cell phone, cell phone camera do? It is just that it is collecting the light photons that are reflected of the object that you are photographing okay. and it is integrating the count, it is integrating them in the sense it is counting the number of photons literally. Okay. That is what your the camera did the, the camera detector in your cell phone that is what it does. So, even though if you if you look at counting statistics that counting statistics are not they are usually called Poisson distribution. Okay. We have not done Poisson, but they will be referred to as Poisson distribution. However, when you consider a large number of light photons and your and your, and your, uh, and your detector is actually you know integrating the counts. Okay. Each time a photon falls uh, the, the, the intensity increases you can think of it that way. So, then when you get the output picture each of the pixels corresponds to a detector in the camera a detector element in the camera each of the pixel in, a, in, in an image, but then that detector is uh, the, the even though the individual statistics are Poisson because we are integrating over a large number of those photons we can say that each pixel can be modeled the intensity can be modeled as a Gaussian distribution. Okay. This is the uh, idea behind you uh, behind uh, you know the importance behind central limit theorem is that, that the limit of as uh, n being very large and you are considering a sum of IID uh, random variables drawn from the same distribution of IID means that then we can say that the result can be interpreted as being from a Gaussian distribution. Okay. Thank you.